detail now. Those definitely look different, yeah. Those look definitely more detailed on the ARL's tracks, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Those those do look those look like an updated model. Yeah. Interesting. Alright. See about the M4A1. Alright, the M4A1 should have more detailed tracks too, and those definitely look more those definitely look more highly detailed, yeah. Yeah. I'd say those are an upgraded model of track right there. Mostly hidden by the uh, fenders and stuff, but yeah. Those definitely look better. Let her slow to a stop so you can get a little better look at them there. Yeah. Looks good. That's not bad. A little updated model. Hey, Hans. Guess who's back? Shady's back. Well, let's uh, test out how they react to physics with these uh, trenches back here. Let's see how the tracks react when we go over the top of this uh, bumpy trench system here. We'll look at it from this side so we're not getting blinded by the sun. Ah, that looks a lot better. Those look way more individually articulated, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, look at that. All right. Not too bad, in fact. That does look a bit better. Let's see, we'll go over this little uh, pillbox bunker thing here. Let's see how that looks. All right, going through the tank traps doesn't really do anything with the suspension, so. See how it looks when we go over the top of this uh, wooden roof trench here. Uh, that's a little better. Yeah, that does look better. I I agree. That does look pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's see, do the tracks on the 2A6, I don't have the 2A6, so I don't actually know what the tracks look like on it, but those look pretty good, let's see. Let's see what the new gun blast looks like. Yeah, that does look better. Let's see what it looks like from inside the gun. Almost invisible for inside the gun. All right. Yeah, that's... I'm going to want to see somebody alongside shooting so I can see what the gun blast looks like from a little farther away to the side, but that looks pretty good. We'll check out uh, a side shot of firing here in a second just to see what that looks like. But let's see how the suspension on the Leopard looks going over these tracks, over the uh, trenches, rather. Yeah, it's a little better. All right, let's uh, find a target. There we go. Line up on him. And let's look at that from the side, see what that looks like. Yeah, that does, that does look better. <laughs> that is that is pretty good it's funny you don't see anything within the uh, gunner sight which they'll probably change but but from outside looks pretty good All right, we got to test one more gun. I guess we should at least test it on a target. Oh my god. The overkill. The absolute overkill. <laughs> oh 
Holy shit, ain't nobody on the battlefield gonna miss gonna miss when you fire in a 4005. Holy shiitake mushrooms, that was glorious. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Holy shit, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my god, that's going to be fantastic. That is going to be glorious. We are definitely switching this over tonight. Yup. All right. Uh, let's see how we look at night. Now, it's not quite pitch black. It's just night, but... Uh, where is he? There he is. All right, let's see what that looks like. <laughs> oh my god, I want to see what that looks like from across the map. That's going to be phenomenal. Let's see if it looks any different from inside the gun site. Alright, it is no different. There's no blast effect from inside the gun sight, which is probably a good thing from a gameplay perspective, but kind of crappy from a realis realism perspective, but hey, whatever. Let's see what it looks like from just directly behind as you fire straight ahead. love it let's see we'll fire a long range shot where we can see the thing fall out there and we'll see if we can actually see the explosion from distance i kind of want to see that i want to see what the blast of this shell looks like then we'll do it with like the stern panzer he round for like a really long distance shot and see what it looks like at night pretty interesting one more shot here then we'll do the uh broom bar or stern panzer one of the two at night just a long range shot just to see what the HE round looks like. Well, that was rather disappointing on the blast side of it, uh, the explosion side, but whatever. All right, we got to do a an HE turret blast with the KV-2-1940 just to see what the shell looks like flying out there. Oh, that was a very subdued explosion at the other side of it. The uh, muzzle blast was pretty good, but it doesn't last anywhere near as long as the uh, battle barn. The battle barn may be the best thing for uh, new bright gun flash, I think. But uh, we'll try this one more time just to see a good uh, a good look at that gun blast, and then we will. Try the broom bear. It's pretty bright. It's pretty bright when it fires. It just doesn't last as long as the battle barn. Okay, and as far as the Sturm, or well, not Sturm Panzer, but the broom bear. <laughs> It's pretty much it's pretty much the same as the uh, KB2, but it's still pretty funny. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is good stuff. I like it. Ha 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 ha. 